Hi YouTube friends. Uh, today I'm going to lead you through some stretches. So if you want to join me, you don't need a floor or you don't need a mat rather. You just need some space on the floor where you can move around. So um, we're going to just start by pulling back onto our backs, pulling our knees into our chest and just start wiggling around through that lower lumbar. I want you to take that belly button and keep driving it into your spine and then thinking about wiggling through that back in your sacral area to give yourself a little bit of a back massage. And if you notice, I kind of change the direction in which I go. A couple of little circles one way, the other way. You can just kind of rock towards the, towards the tailbone there. And then when you're ready, I want you to take both legs up towards the ceiling and just kind of shake them all out. So feel that energy dropping down into the hips. Feel the belly button into the spine. There's space between my ears and shoulders and my chin and chest. And then when you're ready, you're gonna extend those legs up towards the ceiling, flex through your feet, and you're either gonna grab through the backs of the legs and reach up towards the ankles, or if you can, you grab the toes. And at first, I want you to just kind of pull the legs in towards the chest. And then once you find that kind of stretch, then take your tailbone and roll it back into the floor. So you're trying to imprint your spine all the way to your tailbone. So again, don't let the tailbone point up to the ceiling. Try to point it down straight through that spine, keeping that belly button in. And again, no hunching through the shoulders, drop through the shoulders, keeping the belly in tight. And while you're here, especially if your feet are flexed, relax the tops of the thighs. So don't tighten up through the quads. Think about really engaging through the backs of the legs. And you can just kind of bend those elbows a little bit and release and bend and release. And then I want you to move the hands to the outside of the foot and then pull the knees down into the sides of the rib cages. And you can kind of rock back and forth. This is your happy baby pose. And again, while in happy baby, we still think about keeping that tailbone down and lengthening through the spine and keeping the rib cage closed. So don't overcompensate by arching through the back. Keep imprinting through the spine. And then when you're ready, just press the knees down, pull the belly in, and just focus on your breath. Inhales are always through your nose, and exhales are always strong out of your mouth. And especially if you're doing this at home, you can make those exhales as strong and powerful, as loud as you want. There's no one around you to hear you, so just breathe through your body. And then when you're ready, you take the bottoms of those feet and you bring them together and you open up those knees into your uh, butterfly. And butterfly can be done a couple ways. If you're working to get a little bit deeper into the hips, you keep grabbing those feet or ankles and bringing the legs up above like the sternum bone. Option number B is to still keep the feet off the floor, but kind of hang here. And that I'm kind of feeling in my lower back and my hips. And then lastly, you can take those legs and touch them all the way to the floor and just focus on dropping through the hips there. So if you've got any hip or back issues, this is a good one to work with right here. And wherever your butterfly is, up, middle, or all the way to the floor, just pull those knees in and then open them back out. Same thing here, I can just pull them in and open them back out a couple times. And then you can rock back and forth a little bit. We're gonna take our feet to the floor. You're gonna reach that right leg up to the ceiling and you're gonna flex your foot without adjusting through your spine. Lengthen the leg to the floor and point and lift it back up. Flex and lower, belly pulls in to lift. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, close. And then a couple more times and when you're ready, you grab it up at the top. And again, working from the back of the hamstring up towards the calf, maybe to the ankle slowly start to pull that leg in. Now, each time you release, think about pulling that leg in a little bit further than before, but we're only gonna go further if we can keep this top leg straight and if we can keep our tailbone on the floor. So pulling it in and cranking it like this is definitely not what we're going for. Keeping that tailbone pressed onto the floor and thinking about gently pulling in and releasing a few times. If you want to add a little bit more, you flex that foot. If you need to get more into the hips and the legs, you turn it out. Immediately, I feel it all through that IT band. And then working back through that parallel line, bending the knee in and stretching it back up. And then keeping it up at the top. Now I want you to release it, so I don't want it to be in your full pull. 
I want you to release it a little bit and take your toe and point it to the opposite shoulder. So what we call that in dance a sickled foot. Sickle that foot, baby. Grab it with the opposite hand and then gently pull it across the body. So you want your ankle to get outside of your shoulder and you're gonna to start to feel this through the IT band. And again, avoid being bent. You can pull it like and get into the hip there, but I really wanna think about a nice long line and think about that foot there. And then you can just kind of bring it back and as you're pulling, you're keeping that right hip on the floor. Good, and bring it up to the center, shake it all out. Replace the foot to the floor, toe ball heel, extend the left leg up, flex through the foot, lower down and point and lift it up. And inhale, lengthen, exhale, close. Again, rib cage staying closed, belly button staying tight, spine nice and long into the floor. And when you're ready, you catch that leg up at the top and you grab it to where you can feel and sustain that nice long leg. Gentle pull in and gentle release. Belly button pulling into the spine. Long backs of the legs. In and out. And when you're ready, you're gonna hold that leg in. You're gonna flex through that foot if you can. And then you can take that leg and you can bend it in and stretch it up and bend it in and stretch it up. High McKenzie and bend it in and stretch it up. Holding it at the top, point the toe across the body, grab it with the opposite hand. Don't let this leg wiggle or jiggle. Gently pull it across right here. Ankle outside of the range of motion of the hip. Lengthening behind the back of the leg. And when you're ready, you're gonna pull that leg up and kind of shake it all out and pull the legs down. Take the feet, open them as wide as your mat or outside of your hips. Drop both knees over to the right side, open up the arms to the side and then twist your head over to the left. So we're thinking about dropping down but still engaging through the core. So belly button is always into the spine to help protect your back. And then when you're ready, activating the belly button, pulling into the spine, imprint it, and take the knees up and over to the other side. Feeling the energy of pushing the foot down, or the knees down into the floor, as the feet are also pressing down and back. And bring them back in, and take them over to the other side. And back up, and other side. And up, and walk those feet closer together. And when you're ready, pull the knees into the chest, grab the backs of the legs. You can either roll it from the side or give yourself a little scoop and pull that body up to a seated position. I want you to take your legs and cross them however you're most comfortable. Wiggle around till you find your sits bones. Those are those bony things in your butt that kind of poke down into the ground. Take a deep inhale all the way through your nose. On your exhale, flat back and lengthen forward. Feel those arms clawing forward while the chin comes into the chest. And then take a big inhale, lift up. And on your exhale, reach back down. See if you can try to put your elbows into the ground while tucking your chin into your chest. And inhale up. And bring it all the way up. Take that one arm, reach it all the way over. Feel that elbow pressing down. And then when you're ready, tuck your chin and slowly work through each part of your back and spine. So now I'm rounded over my knee. And I'm going to continue bringing it forward, belly button scooping in, core contraction, and then roll and stack it back up to start. Other side, big reach up and over, belly button scooping in, round out that spine, keep that belly button sucking back, and walk it forward, and pull it all the way over to the other side, and roll and stack it up. This time, big reach over. Shoulders away from ears, chin away from chest, open up. And if you want, you're bringing that hand behind your back and drop that elbow further behind you. Now take your elbow and reach it and round it forward. And press it up. Other way, big stretch all the way over, belly button in the spine. Big open up of that chest. Hand behind your back. Round and tuck it forward. Roll and stack it up. Take your shoulders, roll them up, down and back. Plant your hands behind your booty, tuck your chin to your chest. 
then chin up. And center ear to shoulders. And other way. And looking up, turn over, belly button in the spine, no tension in the hip flexors, and twist. And bring it back through to center. When you're ready, take a big inhale up. Strong, powerful exhale out. 